Hey guys, welcome to episode 30 of Pokemon Generation 1. Last we left off, we took down the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. Much like we did the Celadon City Gym Leader. Psychic types in Gen 1 are broken, just saying. Anyway, took care of a couple of trainers on the way to where we need to go because, well, they're not mandatory whatsoever. Plus, they're just going to be in the way. So let's deposit Alakazam. Hey, can't break the entire game. And we want Spiro. You'll see why later. And by later, I mean next episode. But either way... Now, for this particular episode... Oh yeah, you pass by these two on this tile, you don't have to fight either of them. I actually tried that. Anyway, for this particular episode, we needed Surf and Strength because we're going after another legendary Pokemon. This is the first in its trio. Yes, most legendaries have either duos or trios. Only a couple are solo legendaries. Mew isn't technically a legendary according to Bulbapedia, but it's more of a mythical. Mythicals are quote-unquote event le- or, well, they're called mythicals, but they're more event legendaries. Legendaries you can't get through other usual means. For instance, Mew, we also have Celebi in Generation 2, and all that. But anyway, welcome to the Seafoam Islands. Now this place actually isn't too bad if you came from Fuchsia City. There's another way to come through here, but we're not going to be showing that off. So unless I get specific requests to show how to get through Seafoam Islands through that area, I'm not going to bother. Hey Slowpoke. Now there's quite a few Pokemon you can run into in here. The Slowpoke here. Seal, quite a few of them in fact. Horsey, which why would you? And Staryu. Now, I am not moving. This is the current carrying me. Yeah, we kind of need to do something about that. But first, free Ultra Ball. We want that. And we'll surf on Raichu again. I'll surf on Blastoise next time, don't worry. Anyway, we want to come over here. For those of you who are lost, just follow where I'm going and you should do fine. Slow. Had to. It's been a while. Damn! Overkill? Sheesh, right you. Oh, man. Criticals when you don't need them, but overkill. Oh, come on. We're almost at the end at the very least. Not gonna say it the second time. I'm just gonna deal with these guys because, hey, Raichu needs the experience. Come on. Hey, Seal. Now, Seal evolves into Dugong, which is another water ice type, much like Cloyster. Very forgettable water type, especially since it gets outclassed by Cloyster. And even then, both get outclassed by something we'll be getting later on. Now, we need strength here. You want to push this one up twice, this one down once, left once. Now this is where things get tricky. Don't push this one right away. We want to come over here, push this one at least three times, this one down once. Now from here, all you have to do is push this left one more time, and then down once. Go through one of these holes once you've done both of those boulders. Well, rather, push both of those boulders into the holes, 
And here's our prize. Now believe me, you want to save. That was weird, but back in a moment. Right, for those wondering what I meant by what I just said, on my end I could have swore I heard, heard an audio hiccup. Not sure if the mic actually picked it up, but... This is one of the original legendary bird trio, Articuno. Ice and flying type. Now here's the thing about the legendaries in Gen 1. They only know two moves. Normally, anyway. In Articuno's case, it knows Peck and Ice Beam. So, factoring in the fact that it can freeze your Pokémon, you better come in here with some full heals. Yeah, Articuno is quite powerful, and unfortunately, time hasn't exactly been too kind to Articuno. It has been kind in taking out Raichu, anyway. Uh, let's see here. What do you resist that I have? Uh... Not sure, honestly. Ember shouldn't do too much, at least. Your special stat is pretty high. There we go. Now you're in the perfect spot. Now let's see just how long this takes. Yeah, I stocked up on a lot of Ultra Balls, this is why. Frickin' Ice Beam. What? Fire didn't resist ice back then? What? I never knew that! Full paralysis, but let's see just how long this takes. So far, we're two minutes in. Yeah, you can still miss even if you've got them paralyzed, but you're gonna need to get them paralyzed. Put it to you that way. I never knew fire did not resist ice back then, though. Holy shit. Learn something new every day. Well, I want to at least get one of these on him. You know what? The warning beeps are gonna get annoying. Hyper Potion, go! This shouldn't take too terribly long. Well, unless you get hit with a critical. But, let's keep using them Ultra Balls, shall we? Ow! Well, there's a fine how do you do. I mean, I'm kind of overdue on criticals, mind you, but Jesus. Yeah, catching legendaries is an absolute bitch. It's gonna pack again. Ooh, one, two, three! Hell yeah! A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. Now, I'm probably one of the few people who never nicknames legendaries. That's just me though. But let's go ahead and use ourselves an escape rope. Watch closely. I don't think you're gonna see it on playback. I said watch closely because you might have been able to see the ABCD that time, but apparently not. He said, I'm thinking, well. Yeah, I used an escape rope there just to make getting out of the Seafoam Islands not so much of a pain. But, let's go ahead and... Actually, before we do that, how much money do I have? 2,655. Uh, I won't be able to get many more Ultra Balls, but... I'm gonna do what I have. Now, I'd actually recommend flying to Lavender Town. You will have to trek through Rock Tunnel again, but it shouldn't be so bad this time. I really think we only need, like, two Super Repels. 
If that. Uh, let's see, do they even sell? Okay, so two super repels should be good enough to get through there. We're not much of a hassle. I think I healed up already. Indeed I did. Keep Raichu in the front because we'll need him next time. Right, so let's save, and next time on Pokemon Generation 1, we'll be going after yet another legendary Pokemon. Later, guys!